And Will will get all the helmets off and the safety gear and a much happier encounter this weekend after a really frustrating week, a weekend to go at Worldwide Technology Raceway. Hey, last week was tough for you. How rewarding was a performance like this today, ultimately, that ended up in victory lane? Oh, man, very rewarding. I came came here to turn, and so did the whole team. I mean, good job, man. Thank you. Thank you. You did it? Yeah, I mean, uh, came here very determined. For one, get qualifying right, and then um, executing the race, it's kind of our last, not last ditch effort, but really if Palou finished ahead of us today, it was going to be very difficult. So, absolute team effort. Very lucky to drive for this team. Very lucky to have a sponsor like Verizon and Chevrolet. So, um, going to keep fighting ahead here. A couple of bad races before this, but um, yeah, really, really love this series. I feel lucky to be a part of it and race all these good drivers and see if we can get a championship. Oval's next in the year. So, what kind of opportunity is that for you guys to continue Continue to just keep the pressure on. Yeah, I mean we've been very, very good on ovals, very solid. Obviously, they're two ovals that we haven't raced at for a long time, so you know it's anyone's game. I hope that we get it right. Um, we'll do our best and uh, take the fight to Alex. You have raced at Milwaukee before. It's been a while, but uh, does that give you any more confidence that you guys can go and, and deliver another performance like you need to? Uh, yeah, I mean you get a little bit out of it. I've won there before and. Um, the formula isn't that different in the car. The track is degraded a bit, but, you know, we'll see. It's such a competitive series. Anyone can turn up any weekend and win, so you just got to be on your toes. Will has won before at Milwaukee. That's where we'll head next week. The championship fight is still alive, and the 12-team is rolling. Alex Flo, one of, if not the most consistent driver in the series, started third, finished second. What is the key to this consistency week in and week out? Um, just the team behind. They did a great job. Um, yeah, maybe we were a bit wrong with the strategy there. Um, went too aggressive in qualifying yesterday and really, really didn't have any uh, good use alternates. So, um, yeah, it was tough work there on primaries, having to uh, catch Will. But, uh, yeah, the 12 deserved it today. They were very, very fast. So, yeah, happy with the pizza today. Yeah, three out of four of your stints on black tires. Was this a comfortability thing? Uh, no, it was just that we thought uh, primaries was going to be a bit closer than the alternates, and we used them uh, yesterday in qualifying to try and get the pole. So, um, yeah, not the right choice, but, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll try and make the right choice next time. I set forward to Milwaukee, and a congrats. A nice job from Chip Ganassi. That's Alex Polo. Joseph Newgarden finishes third, chatting with engineer Luke Mason and Tim Sindrick. Well, hey, you guys were kind of quiet today, but I think a lot of your progress, it seemed like, was made throughout the pit stops, in laps and out laps. Was that the case? And, and how good ultimately was this car? Yeah, it's pretty good. I think second was probably our potential. I think Will had everybody covered today. Um, you know, hard to say that we were going to challenge him. Maybe, maybe if we start first, then we can make something happen there. But... Yeah, I think top three, second place, that's that's where we were at today, and, and so it was a, a really good result for the two-car. You know, TireRack.com is our first first race sponsor in the two-car, so I, I, you always want a victory when someone new's on board, but um, this is a good day. You know, I'm, I'm happy Will got the win. He, you know, he's been fast all weekend, and obviously, you know, he's still gunning for this championship, so um, definitely a car that we want to finish up front. So this is, this is a great day for us. I always want more, and I don't like finishing third, but but a, a good day for Team Penske. There was a lot of question marks and, and just kind of unknowns maybe about what tire was going to be preferred today. Did it change throughout the race as far as what you, you thought maybe would be the preferred tire? Not for us. You know, I, I was I was kind of waffling on it after the first stint thinking, okay, is it going to be the red? Is it going to be the, the primary? I wasn't sure at that point, but going into it, I, I felt like the red was a little stronger for us, and that ended up being the case. So I, I think that was probably the preferred tire for our car, and you know, we managed with what we could. Lap traffic was hard today. You know, we just couldn't make much happen um, in that middle stint, and, and that's probably what slowed our progress to get into the 10. But, um, you know, good clean day. You know, it went about as we could have expected, just, just a touch short. Championship aside for you, we get to go to two ovals to finish the year. As the uh, oval king, how much are you looking forward to getting to go to a couple fun tracks here to end the year? I'll be honest, I was more excited about here. I really was. I, I wanted us to get a win here on the road course. And, and I, you know, I, we had a good showing. I think we had the potential, but I like everywhere. You know, it's not just the ovals that get me excited. It's places like this. So, you know, the, the biggest thing is we're, we're coming to the final stretch, right? Three races to go. I think for us, we need to have a good solid finish. Uh, we're still in the championship fight with our, with our team. 
Um, so we got two good things to, to cheer for here coming to the, the end of the season and, and like to wrap things up in a, on a good note. Yeah, good day for Joseph Newgarden. He rounds out the podium in third. Yeah, Colton Hurd finishes fourth. He started eighth and made up some spots, finishes in that fourth position. I'd like to know your key takeaways from today's event. I mean, pretty, <laughs> that's a good start. pretty straightforward day. Um, you know, the game return was fast. We move up up positions, uh, mostly through strategy and overcutting. Our car was really fast. So we were able to go longer and, and make the most out of that. Um, interesting race. You know, I can't remember the last time that we've had guys run two sets of used reds other than Indy GP um, in the last few years. So it's a little bit different for, for everyone today, but a lot of fun. I'd like to take it back to a moment on pit lane. We stalled the car. Yeah, can you just walk us through that moment? Yeah, I don't know what happened because I was keeping the revs up the whole time while I was being plugged in there. Um, and then I guess I, I must have just slipped the clutch a little too quick and, and that kind of got us out and just died right there. Um, and then yeah, I, was, I wasn't aware that you couldn't start the car on, on pit lane, so then we picked up a little bit of a time penalty there. Had to drop back. But um, yeah, overall, besides a pretty great day, um, and you know, I don't think that really affects where we finish. I think we're probably fourth no matter what. But um, yeah, guys did great. Great job in the pits, and uh, car is fast, so I'm happy. You sit third in the championship now, so heading into Milwaukee and Nashville, uh, setting your sights forward, but where does your confidence lie? I think we'll see. I think it's going to be who can stop Penske. Um, you know, it's a short old tired egg. So we'll uh, we'll wait and see. It's a double header, so it's an important one. Double points, basically. Um, so we can see a huge point swing. Um, you know, for the championship, it's it's going to be tough to crawl crawl back uh, all the all that points. But we're not going to give up. You know, if we have a really good weekend here in Milwaukee and Pelos weekend is a little bit less fortunate, we can uh, we can still have a shot at it. Colton Hurd at eight the fourth today. That's right. That's Scott McLaughlin, who uh, did a lot of moving up today. Hard charger went 20th to 7th, so plus 13. How'd you do it? What was the biggest key to being able to, being able to move forward like you did? I'm buggered. I was tired. It was a hard uh, hard charge, but um, yeah, front line Chevy was good, um, and, and the thirsty threes were rapid on the pit stop. So yeah, really proud of the, the crew. I said to my wife, uh, who's watching at home, hello, Carly. Uh, I said top seven today would be like a podium. So um, yeah, I'm proud of that one. And uh, yeah, can't wait to get home and then head to the final three races. We're on ovals where, you know, we've proven that we've been pretty good this year. So um, we'll see how we go. I know you were really confident about your car earlier in the weekend. And, and when you have a car like that, that you know can get to the front, how does that impact kind of how aggressive you are throughout the day with just strategy and, and driving to, to get to maybe where you feel like you should be? Yeah, you just got to trust that, you know, once you get clear, you can hit the lap time. But you can't make mistakes either. So, um, yeah, it's a, it's a credit to my crew that, that kept me, me level-headed throughout the whole race. You know, a couple of times I got a little heated, as you do. But, um, you know, overall, uh, yeah, disappointed with yesterday. That's on me. Um, can't do that if you want a championship run. But, hey, we're still in it. And, and until I'm mathematically out of it, I don't care. I'm still in it. So, press on. That's right. He's got uh, two more ovals, three races to try and chop into that Polo championship lead. McLaughlin gains a spot today and is fourth in the standings, Georgia. Yeah, we were just taking a look at the board. Marcus Armstrong, it seemed like your strategy went well. Your pit stops went well. Everything seemingly went well for you. Seventh to fifth. Uh, what were your key takeaways from today? Yeah, the number 11 uh, American Legion Honda was quick today. I, f <laughs> I feel... Uh, yeah, I feel thankful that one's over, really. I felt like uh, it was quite repetitive, but uh, I enjoyed it. I love racing here at Portland. It's a cool track. Um, we made progress just through strategy, really, trying to extend the stint, tire saving and fuel saving, uh, all the little boring details, but they paid off in the end, and we, we got a top five, so um, slowly getting to, to where we want to be. We're going to bring Dario Franchitti in here a little bit. I know you've been coaching Marcus. You've been helping him all year long. And I'm curious, now that we're ending or rounding the end of the season, what his driving progression and style has uh, been like throughout the year? I think the speed's always been there. But today was, I think, a great example for, for Marcus and the 11 team is that it was, it was kind of low drama and it was P5. And it's like, well, you thought, yeah, okay, that was kind of normal. So the podiums, more and more podiums beckoning. And then the, the first win, I'm looking forward to the party after the first win. <laughs> yeah, I have to say, do you have anything to say to that? Uh, he's paying for it. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. All right, party in the 11 pit coming up. Santino Ferrucci finished in the eighth spot after starting on the pole for the first time in his career today. So I know you probably wanted a, a better finish, but hey, Small steps, right? This is a this is an improving team, and, and how would you kind of evaluate and sum up just this weekend as a whole? Yeah, weekend is incredible. I mean, to start on pole with Will, and uh, obviously he got me on the inside turn one. I broke a little early, just 
you know, first time for everything. But, uh, no, we'll learn. But And the team did a phenomenal job. We just didn't quite have the pace that we thought we would today. Uh, obviously, with the heat coming up, we were just all over the track, and it was super greasy. So, uh, it's unfortunate. But, I mean, man, I had fun. Uh, it's a long race to go green uh, for as well as it was. And um, we had great stops. Our pit crew did phenomenal. I can't thank Sexton Properties, Phoenix Investors, Chevrolet, you know, everybody enough. I mean, to get the pole this weekend for us is a huge milestone. You know, we get to sit in the front box for um, the duel at Mo uh, Milwaukee, right. which will be a lot of fun and a big advantage for us. And, uh, yeah, on to the ovals. Let's go back to, to turn one at the start. How did you approach that? Was there a conversation or a, anything with Will about how you guys would handle that race down into turn one? Yeah, I kind of told Will where I was going to go. And, you know, I'd try and if I got the jump and I could get in front of him, I would. And I would kind of string him along and pull him down into turn one. And he was going to go up the inside and just block and give me the uh, into two. I just, I don't think he expected me to break as early as I did. And I definitely didn't mean to either. So, uh, no, it was really cool to talk with him too and get some advice on what to do. And, you know, he's just, he's such a good dude. I'm really happy for him and all of their uh, the three or 12 team for them to win, you know. It's great for them in the championship, but uh, no, it was, it was very helpful. I mean, like I said, I, a lot to learn for me there, and I uh, can't wait to race him again a little bit more in the next few. Well, hey, silly season is, is it seems like it's been going on for like two and a half years in IndyCar. Like it just, it never stops, right? But uh, what does a weekend like this do for just your stock as a driver for, for any team? I know you love racing with these guys, but what does a performance like this do for you? Yeah, obviously it's huge to, to qualify on pole and, you know, that's a driver's thing. And we obviously got the car right working with the engineers. You know, it's a team effort at the end of the day to do that and, you know, to put that lap in and everything and to race as well as we have been all year. I think it's our eighth top ten. You know, we've just been so consistent. Uh, I obviously want to stay here at AJ Floyd and we're going to work on that with Larry over the next couple of weeks to see if it's a possibility. And, um, yeah, it's just to build on what we have, to be coming back to these tracks again next year with the continuity of the same engineering team, uh, mechanics, you know, just getting better all around. Uh, you know, we'll be starting more up front and hopefully we get some more poles and we can translate those into wins. Well done. Thank you. Uh, I was going to say we have a trio of Ray Hall, Letterman, Lanigan drivers. We're just missing one, but Yuri's over there, so he's going to come join us in a second. We're going to start with Christian Lungard. Just your assessment of the day. I know you wanted more out of it, and uh, you felt loose through a majority of that race, but what else? Yeah, just the, the the past two years, really. I think we've we've had natural pace. The car's been fast and, and on one lap pace and in qualifying, and we saw it with Graham last year putting it on pole. And 2022, I was up there. This year, we qualified fourth, and, and we just can't really seem to uh, to translate it um, and, and put it in on, on race day. Um, but yeah, the balance that I had today, I haven't had all week and, and it was a little bit of a surprise. I thought that the, the floor was damaged. Um, I don't think we had any damage, so I think we need to understand what was really going on. And Pietro, this is a place that you have experienced in an IndyCar. I know those are not the results that you necessarily wanted, but do you feel like that helped you today? No, I think it was good. I mean, our start, we were aggressive. Um, and then I, I really disagree with the drive, the first drive through that we got with Dixon. Um, I was on the outside. He had gone off. Um, I put it on the outside. It was completely alongside him. And then uh, I got squeezed onto the curb. The car bottom got airborne. And then obviously when he touched him, uh, he went to the wall. So that was unfortunate. Our pace was really good. We caught back uh, the pack and passed a lot of cars. Then, yeah, again, I was too aggressive. Um, so that, uh, yeah, was my mistake. But the pace definitely today was, for me at least, was really good. And just a shame that we weren't able to uh, to maximize and, and be up there with uh, Graham. Thanks, Pietro. And Yuri, back in the NTT IndyCar Series, it was to my understanding that you had some issues at the beginning of the race. What were those? Uh, so basically at the pit lane, there was uh, a fissure, uh, issue with the fuel holes. So we just basically had to like replug it and that's like three or four spots there. But that was one thing and it was Basically, we had like an all right day. Like, I don't think the pace was terrible. A couple of gremlins here and there, but it was just in the pit lane that uh, it was first a fuel issue, and then I was really struggling with the clutch all day. So, the first first two stops, I nearly stalled, and the last one I stalled. So, we need to look into what happened there. Uh, if I did anything wrong, but I just felt it was quite different than what it was the rest of the weekend. So just need to look into it. But all in all, happy to just do the race distance and no big, big dramas and finish the race, you know. And just the opportunity to be back here in the series, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. It's absolutely amazing. It, it's felt so good to be back and 
back in my natural habitat, I feel, uh, this weekend. So, yeah, it's definitely been a good feeling, but, you know, a bit of a bit of a bit of a sad feeling because I, I felt like we we, we weren't we were much quicker than where, where we ended up. So yeah. thanks, Yuri. Thank you. And last but not least, Graham Rahal. Today you finished ninth. And before the race, you told me we just really need a straightforward day. We need nothing to go wrong. We just need, obviously, you're going for the win, but we just need a straightforward day. Does does this suffice for that? Yeah, I thought it was a good day. I um, thought the Hendrickson car was pretty strong. As Christian said, though, I was very loose today, which I hadn't really had the rest of the weekend. I mean, a little bit in qualifying, but last night, the changes, of course, cooler track at 5.15 when warm-up was. But I didn't have the overseer that I had in the race, and so I just felt like I was on my heels a little bit all day. You know, I still think, you know, in the pit cycle, the, the strategy was great. The timing for us, we just got a little unfortunate. We caught Harvey very quick, uh, which then kind of stopped us from our momentum. That cost us a spot. Then on the last stop, we came out right behind uh, um, uh, Ferrucci, and, and, and Santino did a wonderful job all weekend. But uh, that hurt us, so we lost to McLaughlin and... Uh, and Erickson. So, you know, shoulda, coulda, woulda. Is that all in all, a P9? Yes, it, it suffices for just a straightforward, uh, easy day. And I thought our team all weekend, that uh, everybody did a wonderful job um, to throw the 75 car in there, to run a fourth car at this point in the season with the staff that we've got is not an easy feat. And, um, you know, Yuri did a wonderful job. He's a great asset to the team. He's been a great asset all along and deserves an opportunity. And, you know, for me, it was uh, it was good to have all four cars, you know, quick for sure. We head to Milwaukee next, and we were talking earlier today, and you said a lot of people think of us as road a road course team. We really strive there. But can we talk about the progression of your oval package and honestly everywhere on the season count? Yeah, I felt um, obviously Toronto. We were very good, uh, just missing out on the fast six. Um, I had the steering column fail on us, which really hurt us there. Um, you know, St. Louis, we were strong, which I don't think people realize because our strategy was so different, but our pace was darn, darn good. And uh, unfortunately, the engine let go. Everybody knows that story. We paid the price for that again today. Uh, I think I've, I'm down 21 spots now on grid position penalties this year, which hurts us for sure. Um, you know, but I think we've made good progress. I know people don't see that, don't expect that, but even look at Iowa. Okay, Iowa one, we had a penalty, grid penalty, but Iowa two, we finished eighth. You know, we ran right with Penske's, right with the good boys. So I think the team's doing a good job. We'll keep our heads down, we'll keep working hard, and hopefully have a good weekend in Milwaukee. Hi, folks, Lee Diffie from NBC Sports here. If you truly enjoyed what you just watched, you can get more news, interviews, and highlights by subscribing to the Motorsports on NBC YouTube page. You can get it all, so go for it.